the Ohio State Tattoo Five. Now, this is the bunch that basically cost um, uh, the the senator uh, Jim Tressel his job when he was at Ohio State, which led to the one year of Luke Fickle, then the Urban Meyer situation, all that kind of mess, right? Tressel was winning at a, a super high clip, and Terrell Pryor in that bunch went and got a bunch of tattoos. They autographed a bunch of stuff, all this kind of mess, and they got, I believe it was like a five-game suspension. Um, I mean, just all kind of NCAA trouble. And Tressel ended up losing his job because he claimed to not know about it, but he had emails that he was informed. I mean, it was just a whole mess, right? Well, under the current NCAA guidelines, the NIL stuff that went into effect basically at the beginning of July, that could would seem to be legal now. Now, under Ohio State's specific NIL rules, what they did was not legal, like under Ohio State's own rules that they have put in. But under NCAA rules, under NCAA guidelines, it would be fair to say you could do that nowadays. You could exchange autographs for tattoos or whatever. But they want their their CFB records, their stats and whatnot, to be reinstated inside the NCAA record books. We went kind of through this with the Reggie Bush thing last week. He wants his Heisman back. The Heisman Trust said, well, that's up to the NCAA. If they reinstate your records, then all right, you know, maybe we'll talk about it. It's kind of the same situation here. There's no Heisman Trophy at stake or anything like that. They just want their stats back in the record books. I don't know how I... I'm, I'm not super strong on one side of the fence or the other. I feel it was a rule at the time. It was broken. You got caught. Is what it is. Like, how important is a, a stat in a record book? On the other side, I do feel like, hey, if it's legal now, like, it, it's kind of the whole thing with... Uh, if you got somebody in jail for weed... You know, and now it's legal in that state. Like, why are they still in jail? Well, at the time, it was still a rule. So, I, you know, I don't know what to think about this. And I was hoping maybe you could you could push me one way or the other. How do you feel about this? Well, I think that's a really bad analogy. Because in one situation, these people literally have nothing in their life change at all today that Correct. can be undone. All right? You're talking about numbers that will go in a computer. Yeah. Okay. I mean, I'm, I'm talking that, that was, that that was to the extreme. Up, you can yeah. look up those stats and everyone can see the stats of those games. They're just not in official records in the NCAA. So I don't give a shit. Okay. That's a dumb fight. Reggie yeah. Bush's thing is actually different because it's a physical trophy and award that was taken away that has a lot of prestige. All right. True. If they lost an award that they had won due to it, that's fine. Vacating wins and vacating stats, I don't care about. Comparing that to somebody who is sitting in a concrete cell who's locked in a hole because they smoked weed or had weed on them is totally different. Those people's freedoms have been completely removed because they did something quote unquote illegal. Um that I know it's extreme. I, know. I, don't, I, know. I don't want us doing that. And, and I want to, I want to address that, but my opinion on this, this is a dumb fight. This is a, these guys have nothing better to do with their lives. Like you were railroaded for something that we both agreed was stupid at the time. All right. I, I don't like Ohio state. I'm not a host Ohio state fan in any stretch of the imagination, but I, I didn't agree with this ruling by any stretch because I think it's dumb. And I think 90% of what the NCAA is dumb and wrong and immoral and unethical. But at the same time, man, that was a long ass time ago. What are you trying to fight? We have so many fights ahead of us trying to go backwards and fight something to change. What? Nothing, it, nothing, nothing, it's, nothing it's of any not substance. Even, it's not even that, like, if the stats had been removed from the ethos, okay, if you couldn't go look those numbers up and you wanted to correct that and you wanted to reinstate them in the world where people could find them, that's a little different because historically you want something in record, but we have that. We have that in ESPN box scores and Yahoo Sports box scores and CBS box scores and, and every other pro football uh, reference, uh, I mean, pro football I, records and, and, all, and all of these other databases. We all saw what happened and there's a record of it. This bullshit organization called the NCAA doesn't have record anymore, but we all know what happened. 
So we don't care. Who cares what their records say in 10 years? They're not going to exist and those records aren't going to matter. Yeah. Because they're you. not going to be a thing anymore because hopefully somebody will come to their senses and burn that place to the ground. I mean, we, I think we are getting closer to that. Um, yeah, I do too. Yeah. Which is why I think this is a really dumb fight. Are, I just feel like these guys taking another opportunity to admit what the NCAA did was wrong and call it out today. I get it. I get it. You want people to know and remember you and, and, and what they did to you, you know, you, you got a, you got a valid beef there, but at the same time, I mean, are you really going to spend energy fighting this people for, for, for something that's not a reward? Like there's no payoff to what end is the question that I ask. Yeah. I, I'm the same way. I, I, I think if we start with them, because this was over a decade ago, if yeah. we start with them, then you can go, I mean, you can keep going back and back and back and back and back. And, and at some point, I mean, you're not going to be able to turn over every single record. So why even start? Like everybody knows what Reggie Bush did, like That's as right. far as what he did on the field. And and, and we all watched him win a Heisman Trophy. Up. Yeah, we all like, watched those him. Stats, those stats, it's not like a government sealed document that nobody has access to. Every If nobody had access to that information and couldn't find it, historians of the, the, the future of college football could not look the information up and see what your stats were, I would feel differently about it. Everybody in the world can find what these stats are. It's yes. only in the eyes of the NCAA do they not exist. Exactly. So what what is the purpose of reinstatement if that entity is not even going to exist in another and we decade? Believe, yeah, and we believe the people that are the gatekeepers that you're fighting right now won't be around in a decade. Your grandkids won't know what the NCAA was outside of the fact that there was some backwoods organization that nobody knew what, you know, what to do with. Yes. Yes, you are correct about that. Um, I really believe that, by the way. I have a lot of friends and a lot of other guys that are college football fans that think I'm 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 crazy when I say that. In in, in 20 years, those people that are that are 12 years old and starting to get into college football won't know what the NCAA was outside of a historical thing. I think you're right. I believe I believe that. Yeah. Well, and if if it's not that the NCAA is completely torn down, it's that the Power Five schools have moved away from them. Right. Yeah. Like there, it'll, there will be, be a way so different yeah. than what it is originally that it, it, it'll, it'll just be different. I mean, it already looks different than it did, you know, 30 years ago. So correct. You know, it, it, everything changes, everything changes, my friend. All right. Thanks for listening to the winning cures, everything podcast. The website is winning cures, everything.com. And if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter at Gary WCE at Chris B G and any at winning cures, or you can email us Gary at winning cures, everything.com or Chris at winning cures, everything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.